Quavius, this must be a pretty big week for you going to play a college football game in the state that you grew up in, the state that you played high school football in. Just kind of describe where your uh, emotions are at and how exciting that is for you, knowing that you're going to be playing at uh, a place you grew up so close to. Uh, it's, I'm super excited to play like in my hometown, Georgia, really to play in their environment and get it on with my teammates. And just kind of a quick follow-up to that, um, how closely did Georgia recruit you, and, and was that ever um, a place that you could see yourself playing college football at? They recruited me closely. Um, I could have saw myself playing there, but I chose here. I liked it better. We'll go to Ben. Here's obviously with Colin opting out of the season, you and Dylan have picked up more of the shares of carries and touches out of the backfield. What's that kind of been like for you guys, adjusting to that role and being in those roles as, as freshmen? Well, it's been a big role for both of us. Like, it's been fun. Like, we love it. Love, it's just a game of football. We came here to play on the big, big stage. So. We'll go back to Tyler. Yeah, you mentioned liking uh, Mississippi State better and obviously choosing to come here. I know the coaching staff has obviously changed, but when you go back to that time when, when you were being recruited, what was it about Mississippi State that kind of lured you in? First, it was the players and academics. That's what really made me come here. I liked the academics in my major, and then the players just bought in, and then the coaches. The coaches were good, then we changed. I, still, I liked the coaches a lot. They really didn't matter about the coaches, though. It was because it was a family here. That's why I came here. We'll go back to Paul. Woody, with this offense having some struggles lately, what areas do you think that if you've seen some growth and you've seen some improvement in practice lately, and, and how close is this offense to, to things clicking again? Um, This past week, when I, when I was playing, uh, we've been clicking everywhere. It's been fire, everybody picking up stuff, everybody having new stuff to learn and picking up like everything for next game. So we should be pretty good going into next, this week. Ben? Hey, kind of to that, obviously you guys had a bunch of guys not able to practice this week. What, what, what was practice like once you guys were able to get back there? And I know, I mean, how much were you guys able to kind of do at least with limited numbers? Um, we, we got to do everything. It was the next man up. Uh, our number was low, but it was the next man up. And they had to play the big role in practice to get it done. Was it at least just kind of weird with having, you know, <laughs> however many, 70, 80 guys instead of, you know, 115 guys out there? Yeah, it was pretty kind of weird just seeing, like, my brother who be in the practice just playing around, having everybody hype, not there. So we had to keep our level up. Tyler? Yeah, it's quick. I don't mean to, to keep circling around to the same thing, but uh, I was looking at 24-7 earlier, and I think Georgia didn't send you an offer. I don't know if that's a mistake on 24-7's part, or, or is that correct? To that's that correct. You? No. And what is that? I mean, growing up, I think it's like, what, an hour, an hour and a half at the most away, away from Atlanta. Was it kind of unexpected to not get an offer from Georgia, considering all the other schools that you got offers from? And then what were you kind of thinking when, um, when that offer didn't roll through? Oh, I, I wasn't thinking nothing. It was like the coaches would come up there, and we used to talk, but it was like a lot of stuff going on with that. Anything else, guys? All right, thanks, Chuck.